Hello YouTube, welcome to this video and today is RJ's News Review of the Year. This year I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to record it in English and I'm also going to do a shorter German language version of it. It does cover around about 75% of what I'm going to say. So if you speak German, can you give me your thoughts by clicking down there to the German language video and think and say what you think of my German. I've been learning German since January through to June this year and again from November to present day. A big thank you goes to Itty who corrected my 85% correct essay and also Tom. I had minor grammar mistakes as German grammar is a little bit of a nightmare. But it was readable, they both said. Anyway, not the news review of the year. 2015 has been an awful year for smokers. There's a law that's going to come into effect from May next year in France, Ireland and Great Britain. It's to introduce standardised packaging. Now, standardised packaging looks similar to this this is an australian pack standard font down there so instead of peter jackson that said marlboro red it look identical to the pack writing on the there and the bottom but graphic pictures and nothing that differentiates between the packs the only difference between here and australia it's on the cigarette itself. In Australia, the Marlboro Reds, they've got to write A001. In this country, France and Ireland, they'll be able to write in standard font to, so all cigarettes look the same, except the writing, of course. The different letters will say Marlboro Reds. A paradise for counterfeiters. In the UK, the vote was 367 for it, 113 against. So a huge amount of hate against smokers. And after the election in May, those 113 brave and brave smoking friendly MPs got reduced down to 107. Six were voted out of office. In France, the vote was closer, 56 through to 54. Most of the socialists, but all the Greens voted for it. The Conservatives and some sensible socialists voted against it. In any case, from May 2016, the European Tobacco Directive kicks in. All cigarettes in Europe must carry health warnings. At the moment, for example, packs in Germany and Luxembourg do not carry health warnings. <clears throat> they will cover at least 70% of the pack, but at least the cigarette will, pack designs will be unique, similar to Canadian packs, if you like. Yes, the health warnings have got a huge lot bigger, but at least you can tell the different look at this shelf if you're in a nice country not the UK we're not allowed to look at shelves because everything's covered up you could ask for the cigarette by name that's another story from another year so that's what's going to happen next year due to bills being passed this year the only good news is pipe tobacco cigars and snuff is exempt Rolling tobacco must come in standardised packaging you know. European Tobacco Directive also banned all flavoured cigarettes from next year, except menthol ones. So Camel Crush double click, where you've got a cherry portion and a menthol button, depending on your flavour, will be banned. From 2021, 
all menthol cigarettes will be banned. Where will the hate? When will the hate against smokers stop? In February, our MPs voted to ban smoking in cars when children are present. The child under this law is someone under 18. Not 16, not 14, but 18. If you, if your passenger of your vehicle or someone even if they're under 18 lights up in the back or the front and you don't stop them and there's another child there, another person there under 18 and the police stop you, you will get the fine as the driver of the vehicle for allowing such a horrendous crime as smoking to take place. The fine is £500 and to date the police have said they will not prosecute because the law is unenforceable and there's been no prosecutions. So an example could be, you're the driver, your passenger lights up, who's over 18, you've got two 17 year old sons in the back, one lights up, one doesn't. Police officer stops you because your 17 year old son's smoking, your passenger's smoking, but his brother isn't smoking and he's under 18, he's by one year, you get the fine. On to America. In October, the FDA, that's the Food and Drug Administration, banned. Camel Crush Bold and three other cigarettes. They said Camel Crush Bold, which was the best selling, one of the best selling cigarettes in America, was more dangerous than similar cigarettes on the market. Due to technicality, they wanted to exercise some sort of booting to the tobacco companies and that's what they did. They let the shops sell the old stock for 28 days so it wasn't such a dangerous cigarette, they just wanted to be annoying. What a load of bollocks. On to Austria. They passed a law unfortunately this year that will ban smoking inside from 2018. At the moment, you can smoke in pubs and restaurants inside. I had a wonderful time in Vienna, for instance, earlier this year. You generally walk into a pub, not all pubs allow smoking, but some, most do, and you generally walk into a smoking room, a smoking bit by the bar. The non-smokers go into a separate room at the back if it's a large pub, if it's a small pub or bar, then generally the whole bar is non-smoking, sorry, smoking even. So they only have to differentiate between smoking and non-smoking in large pubs and restaurants and bars. Okay, at the moment, you can still smoke in the areas around Hamburg, Berlin and Frankfurt. The Czech Republic and of course Austria to 2018. <clears throat> the other news this I've got for you is if you live in Europe, you've seen your pack designs change on mobile red. It's got a softer emblem of Marlborough. Why change an iconic pack design? They made the filter slightly firmer as well, so allegedly you don't get as much ash on your fingers. This was on the official press release. A crime against Marlborough smokers by Philip Morris. A 
A crime that happened this year was done by British American Tobacco. You might remember me explaining about Belga cigarettes. They're national brand since 1923. And the decision by British American Tobacco to change the pack to Lucky Strikes because these are uh, the same cigarette as Lucky Strikes, just their national brand and local variety of them. They do sell Lucky Strikes as well. And an iconic pack, if you can order, should be helpful. Three weeks later, the Nikon, an independent company, introduced these, bees. I have to say, Belgas, until they announced the discontinuum, was only smoked by about 4% of the population, mainly old people. However, it ended up awakened interest in the brand and people switched from that to this. These got about 7% of the market and Von Eichen was very happy. VAT wasn't. And he said that that pack looked too similar to that and took them to court. Tell me, apart from this, both got the same colour and beginning with bees. One is Belga with that picture. That's B with a crown. So, now, B cigarettes since February this year, and you can't make this up, now look like that. With a question mark. Something about Batman and the Riddler. More news stories in the description. So it's been a serious bad news re review of the year. But I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me. I just pass information on. Open up the debate. And I'll be doing plenty more news stories next year. Hopefully some happy ones. Give this video a thumbs up. If you speak German, watch it again in German. And give that one a thumbs up with your comments. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and be back in a couple days with my year on YouTube. Part one, and a few days after, part two. Stay lit guys, and thanks for watching.